Hello and welcome to the 2018 North St. Paul Fall Roundup Parade. I'm one of your hosts, Joe Cullen, along with Jay Humsey. We uh, both brought you the parade last year and we must have had a good time because here we are again. That's right. <laughs> And, and the weather's beautiful again. Beautiful weather again here in uh, beautiful downtown North St. Paul. Have uh, an exciting uh, lineup in front of us for this year's Fall Roundup Parade. So we're excited to bring this to you uh, live right now, or maybe you're catching a rebroadcast of this if you're watching us live. Um, it is Thursday, September 13th. And we're starting off here. We have a police escort along with the American Legion Honor Guard. American Legion Post 39 has been serving veterans, their families, and the community since 1919, entering their 100th year. The Post 39 Color Guard contains veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Persian Gulf, Iraq, and Afghanistan. The honor is an important mission of this post, rendering honor at funerals of veterans, marching in parades, and presenting the colors at various events. is the VFW Color Guard, uh, Arthur Oak Hawkland, VFW Post 1350 of North St. Paul. Uh, this unit has veterans from Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Gulf War. Ooh, looks like we have a group right behind them for uh, the North St. Paul Veterans Park. It's the uh, Veterans Park Committee joined by K-9 service dogs. The History of Veterans Park book is available in booklet form at North St. Paul City Hall. It's a complimentary gift to all who purchased a paper in Veterans Park. Extra copies are available for a $5 donation to the Veterans Park Incorporated Fund. And the uh, Air Force Junior ROTC Training Corps is right behind them. Uh, it's a four-year program for high school students taught by retired Air Force officers and non-commissioned officers. Uh, provides leadership and citizenship training to cadets across the U.S., its territories, and over overseas locations. Uh, it's not a, not a recruiting program, and it imposes no obligation to serve in the military upon graduation. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear all the sirens that we're uh, talking over at the moment, but have kind of a combination of uh, police and fire department. I think we're seeing more of the uh, fire department at the moment, and North St. Paul Fire Department is a paid per call department. They're currently accepting applications for firefighters. Last year, the department responded to 1,300 calls, nearly four calls per day. The department hosts their annual Booya each fall, and this year it is on Sunday, October 14th. Always something to look forward to. That's right. Yeah. And the main fire station, not too far from where we're at here in uh, downtown North St. Paul, their fire chief, Scott Dudek. There's a very excited little girl waving at the fire truck. <laughs> it's usually uh, popular with the kids. You see a few of them covering their ears from the sirens, but most kids are in awe of the trucks. Plus, they are uh, tossing out Tootsie Rolls, too, which is always, right. always a good thing. One last candy binge at the start <laughs> of the school year. It's a... Uh, Again, we are in uh, downtown North St. Paul on 7th, um, kind of across the street from the post office and kind of near the barber shop, actually by where the old city hall used to be. Have our, our table set up here. Pretty nice sized crowd on hand on uh, such a beautiful night tonight. A little, little windy, but uh, nice temperature and it's definitely cooler than last year. I remember it was 87 degrees, so it's not quite that hot this year, and there is a nice breeze. And, uh, here comes the United Marching Band. The exceptional uh, band includes 8th to 12th to twelfth grade students from District 622, united under the direction of Tony T and Lori Bernstrom, John Pavolny, and Aaron Hammerman.
say this probably every year in every parade I do, but um, these kids have it lucky now. They just wear t-shirts and shorts. In my day, we had to wear big polyester uniforms. <laughs> yeah. And coming up behind the United Marching Band, we have the Grand Marshals of this year's parade, Don Fitch and Bill Hewitt. We're honoring our World War II veterans. Don Fitch is a longtime East Sider and talented entrepreneur. He married Val Jean after returning from World War II and raised six children. Most recently, Don sold his local pub, the Sherwood Lounge, and Bill Hewitt settled in Matamidi after World War II with his bride, Therese Deloria, and together they raised five children. When Bill wasn't running Hewitt Manufacturing, he loved to volunteer with the Lions Club. And we want to honor and thank wholeheartedly all of the men and women of our greatest generation. Right behind the Grand Marshals is the Northern Lights Girl Scouts Service Unit. It covers most of the troops in the North St. Paul Maplewood School District. Members are girls from kindergarten to seniors in high school. Come and join the adventure. And oops, got oh, the Boy you? Scout troop right behind them. Thank you. Got a Tootsie Roll from yeah. Troop 188 meets at North Presbyterian Church Mondays at 6.30 p.m. Celebrates scouting, a tradition for over 100 years. It helps boys of all ages learn new skills, enjoy the outdoors, engage their community through service, develop, and grow to be prepared for life. Oh, I think we're getting more candy. Thanks. Well, that's great. Got some, some dots and <laughs> Thank Tootsie you. Roll pop. <laughs> oh, we're talking. Awesome. Oops. Thank you very much. Nice young man picked up the pot that blew over too. So. Yeah, lots. They're learning service already. That's right. Again, if you're just joining us, uh, you are watching the 2018 North St. Paul Fall Roundup Parade. I'm Joe Cullen along with Jay Humsey. And looks now like we have uh, some of the North St. Paul City Council representing the council tonight is Candy Peterson. And uh, other members of the council include Terry Furlong, Jan Walzak, and Tom Sonic. I did see um, Terry Furlong earlier was marching with the Veterans Park group. But Candy Peterson, that's not her in the no, car. No, I know. That's <laughs> but um, I she did see her. Up. She's over on the side there handing out uh, some candy. Should add too, I know uh, Candy is also North St. Paul's rep for the Ramsey Washington Suburban Cable Commission, which is the group that uh, we are under here as Suburban Community Channels. Well, here comes the World Around Us Child Care, uh, proud to serve children six weeks to 12 years old, building the early foundation needed for success later in school life. Like they're handing out some fun, some balls or something. Yeah. Lots of freebies tonight. Yeah. Ah, looks like now we have the 3M Clown Club. Who the are these bozos? <laughs> Ooh, we even have Spider Man <laughs> lurking behind them as well. Established in 1968 by employees of 3M who like to have fun. <laughs> they enjoy putting smiles on the many faces they meet for 50 years. They participate in parties, benefits, parades, nursing homes, and grand openings. The parade wouldn't be complete without some clowns. Or as one cannibal said to the other as they were devouring a clown, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> Couldn't resist. So we need a uh, <laughs> little cymbal crash. Uh -huh. Doesn't get any better, folks, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the Richardson Elementary uh, PTA, uh, representing Richardson Elementary, are the parents, caregivers, and staff who support the school by fundraising to provide enrichment opportunities for the students. Lots of tie-dye. Yeah. Looks like they have a, a nice turnout. Yeah. I'm old enough to remember the tie-dye, but... <laughs> <laughs> Probably hear some music. Um, we're going to be joined here by the Oakdale Summerfest Royalty. Their theme is celebrating 30 years. On the float today is their 2018 2019 Royal Family. Oakdale Summerfest is held the third Thursday to Sunday in June. 
and uh, we have a number of them on the float. Royal Queen Kaylee Barber. A number of other. Uh, I don't do the elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. No, I wave as well as they do, but I was trying to wave back to them, but <laughs> with limited success. It might surprise people to learn that I was never uh, any kind of royalty, <laughs> so I, I haven't uh, participated in a parade in such a capacity. Oh. Here we go with uh, Graphic Traffic, putting your brand in motion for 26 years. Graphic Traffic Limited Liability Company, lo located in North St. Paul. They do screen printing, embroidery, promo items, and in-house graphics. Call Graphic Traffic at 651-770-7898. Hearing some bagpipes from somewhere. Yeah, I think the uh, Metro Pipe Band is going to be oh, they're here soon, okay. too. Yep. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, we hear them from quite a ways off. Right now. And here we have Cairo Way. It's a new chiropractic office opening in the former community center of North St. Paul, which is really close to where we're at right here. Convenient, affordable care for a higher quality of life. You can visit them online at chiroway.com. C-H-I-R-O-W-A-Y. And here comes the aforementioned pipe band teaching and performing traditional Scottish bagpipe and drum music as well as history and culture. Well, I'm still not on camera yet, but thank you very much. More yeah. candy. Wow. More candy. Hitting the jackpot this Yeah, way. we're doing all right. You know, it's there's some dispute about whether uh, bagpipes, as with golf, were an Irish or a Scottish creation, but I guess they're popular with both, so. Those look more like Irish colors, actually. Yeah. Than, oh. I went to the uh, Irish Fair of Minnesota this uh, summer, and my, my I, felt, I felt like one of the few men not wearing a kilt. <laughs> my daughter did Irish dance for 10 years, so. I will mention this uh, next group. Oh, well, let me come up. Yeah, I was gonna say, our next one's the Bakkenwood Hair Studio, and I understand you have a, I have a something of a connection, connection to them. yes. They're, uh, they, uh, th that's my wife's hair studio, and there's my daughter, and uh, a friend of ours, thank you, uh, celebrating 10 years in downtown North St. Paul. The grateful, oh, thank you. That's my lovely daughter oh, there. Oh, you. two wow. can coolers, wow. One for each of us. Uh, See, it pays to have connections. We're the grace, grateful recipients of the Reader's Choice Awards, master stylists and creative partners in fashion shows, weddings, galas, and more. Uh, there is no beard too long, pixie too short, nor color too pr prodigious. Check out their latest styles at Bakkenwood on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or visit their website, bakkenwood.com. Maybe they can do something with my hair. We'll see. <laughs> now we have Jomar Farms, mini donkeys and mini covered wagon from Marine on St. Croix. And the wagon was made by the uh, Amish community in southern Minnesota. And behind them, Merrick Adult Day Services, celebrating their sixth anniversary in downtown East North St. Paul by participating in the parade this year. ADS clients are engaged as citizens of North St. Paul through their own commerce, volunteerism, and participation in community activities. Marching in the parade today are clients and staff. Oh, here we have the Cottage Grove Strawberry Fest ambassadors. And the ambassadors include Little Miss Princess Lola Ott, Little Miss Queen Brooklyn Edlund, Junior Miss Princess Mariella Hilger, Junior Miss Queen Gracie Reimer, Miss Princess Tori Simmons, and Miss Queen Cecilia Knott. Doing quite a lively dance up there. Yeah. It? Bit of a variation on the parade waves. Again, that's for the Cottage Grove uh, Strawberry Fest. Yes. Uh, here comes the Eye Care Center. Since 1977, its highly trained staff has provided patients with exceptional preventative care. We're getting tootsie rolls rained on us in <laughs> treatment and management of eye disease. With over 1,000 frames to choose from, let Eye Care Center enhance your vision through life. Not gonna go hungry tonight, Joe. No, yeah. <laughs> I 
That's a nice candy here. Here we have Custom Remodelers Incorporated, a family-owned business proudly serving Minnesota and Western Wisconsin for the past 28 years. Free estimates are available, and they specialize in siding, windows, roofing, and gutters. Custom Remodelers Incorporated. A colorful truck here, too. Some sort of a bear or white bear there. Uh, this is from the Cowern Parent Teacher Group. They work to support the students and staff at Cowern Elementary School in North St. Paul. These groups are so important to uh, helping out, helping the teachers out with their needs. And Definitely. <laughs> Here we have the SMW Financial Credit Union, and they're joined by the North High Cheer Team. SMW Credit Union has served the area for over 60 years. Everything the big banks have with care and a helping hand, and they're offering a free checking account with cash back. Got a lively group there, too. Yeah. Until I read the part about that being the North High Cheer team, I thought maybe the uh, maybe the SMW Credit Union had a very athletic staff. But <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, here come the Fireworks Special Olympics. This team has 30 athletes and 10 unified partners, ages 8 to 56, that compete in track and field, bocce ball, flag football, bowling, and poly hockey. Our athletes are from North St. Paul, Maplewood, Oakdale, White Bear Lake, Roseville, and St. Paul. You know, looks like they have some of their athletes yeah. marching with them today. And it's a wonderful organization. Good, definitely. Yeah, it's, my dad used to work for the state of Iowa, and he was the intellectually disabled mm -hmm. and involved in the Special Olympics. So very worthy program. Definitely. Here we have uh, McCollum for Congress. Congresswoman Betty McCollum represents Minnesota's 4th Congressional District. She's here. She's probably out shaking hands with the... Oh, and behind, uh, with, with her is Leon Lilly running for Minnesota House re-election. Uh, Leon says he's very honored to serve the people of North St. Paul, Oakdale, and Maplewood at the Capitol in St. Paul. Saw Senator Chuck Weger is carrying a Leon Lilly sign as okay. well. <clears throat> Actually, Leon's brother Ted was in the state senate a number of years ago in the opposite party, but uh, must have been <laughs> must have had some interesting table yeah, I discussions that at the. <laughs> and we're actually uh, really close. You can actually can see it on the screen there to Lilly newspapers. Okay. Ah. Oh. This is the St. Paul Clown Club, <laughs> formed in 1946. It's uh, the oldest operating clown club in the United States, uh, sharing smiles and laughter in parades and events throughout Minnesota. You can never have enough clowns in a parade. No. I remember the, going to the Shrine Circus as a kid and being very entertained by all the, the clowns. And <laughs> Some people are scared of clowns, but I think most of the kids here are enjoying it. <laughs> I won't use my clown joke again. That's once is enough. <laughs> Here we have the JCNSP Hockey, the Johnson Como North St. Paul Youth Hockey Association. Hi. My wife went to the other high school on the east side of St. Paul, Harding, but Johnson's nemesis. But uh, oh. it's all it's all good. It's all good. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll allow them right. the parade. <laughs> Looks like we have a bunch of parents and uh, youth. Yeah. That are getting involved in hockey at a young age. That's a wonderful sport. You know, it's, when I came to Minnesota, I realized kids learn how to skate before they learn how to walk here. I, thank you very much. Getting some little frisbees, frisbees here. Frisbees, yeah. And here we have uh, Christ Lutheran Church and School. Kids, parents, and teachers from Christ Lutheran are showing their school spirit. Christ Lutheran began in North St. Paul in 1887, and the school came in 1976. It offers affordable Christian education, individual attention, sports, music, you can hear the band there, high quality academic opportunities for preschool through eighth grade. And as you can 
see right now we have the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office and Mounted Thanks. Patrol. The Sheriff Jack Serrier is joined by uh, 10 volunteer reserve deputies and their horses. In its second year of operation, the mission of Mounted Patrol is to support search and rescue operations, patrol larger parks in Ramsey County, and attend community events as ambassadors of the Sheriff's Office. The creation of the Mounted Unit was made possible by donations from local businesses and the Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation. And I believe we were both just sworn in wow. as junior deputies of the yeah. Ramsey County Sheriff. We were given badges and everything. Well, that's Sorry. probably a mistake, but uh, <laughs> to get any authority, but uh, <laughs> glad, glad to have it. Always a little risky for the uh, rest of the parade entrance to uh, march behind the horses, but that's right. So far, things don't seem to have gotten too out of hand. I don't see anybody with a cart and shovel. No. <laughs> they always get the applause in the parade. My experience. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, Flaherty for Judge, uh, running for Ramsey County Judge uh, S Scott Flaherty. His legal experience with his passion for fairness and drive to make law and our system serve people better make him the right choice for Ramsey County Judge. I heard some music, which I believe is Rob Zombie, and I thought, oh. <laughs> I thought uh, it's an interesting choice for yeah. Jack Flaherty. Is it Jack? Um, oh, oh, Jack. Excuse me. Scott. Or, no, Scott. No, excuse I'm me. I'm Scott Flaherty. <laughs> but it turns out I think that music's for the uh, Fright okay. Farm that's a little I behind I was expecting them. Uh, Irish music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a little more sense. Yeah, here we have the <laughs> Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation Fright Farm. It's a legendary haunted house horror experience, frequently named the best and scariest Halloween attraction in the state open every October. This year, the horror, legend, and folklore begin on October 5th. All proceeds benefit the nonprofit Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation, supporting public safety and community programs. Just like the ghoul that married dear old dad. I... <laughs> very, very spooky. <laughs> you don't stand a ghost of a chance with them in the parade here. So. <laughs> sure, we'll love some more. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's the uh, old National Bank. Uh, Formerly known as Anchor Bank, Old National is proud to serve the North St. Paul community, committed to helping communities and businesses grow and prosper for 85 years. Stop by Old National to learn more. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us uh, to watch the 2018 Fall Roundup Parade here in North St. Paul. And now uh, we're looking at, uh, it's like Park Dental out of Maplewood. In the community for over 30 years, a doctor-owned practice located in the St. John's Hospital Health Campus, offering preventative and cosmetic care to help you achieve a beautiful smile. Enjoy our convenient morning and evening appointments. Park Dental would love to have you visit. They might especially love us after they see all this candy right. we have on our table here. We might be giving a lot of business tonight. Yeah. <laughs> do you know when it's time to go to the dentist? Tooth hurdy. Ah, well, you, <laughs> you came ready tonight. Right. Oh, but we are getting free toothbrushes, so <laughs> there we go. Giving us the brush. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's a hint. I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling I won't be asked back to do this parade if I do any more puns. God, oh, believe me, I appreciate a good pun. <laughs> I didn't come prepared, though. <laughs> well, it's only two-thirds of a pun. P-U. <laughs> We have the Church of St. Peter, uh, founded in North St. Paul in 1888. And they're celebrating 130 years this Sunday, September 16th, with a special mass at Thanksgiving at 10.30 a.m. On the float are parish priests and parishioners to celebrate 130 years. Learn more about the events and activities coming at Church of St. Peter, MSP, NSP.org. And they're singing America the Beautiful. It's quite a, quite a thing to celebrate, uh, 130 years. It's a long time. A long time. 
Yeah. Here we have uh, Jack. That was just the child at the time they started. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, and I hope I'm saying his name right. Is it Serrier? Serrier. 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 For Ramsey County Sheriff. <laughs> And volunteers are working to make sure that he continues to be Ramsey County Sheriff. They say a vote for Jack is a vote for community, integrity, and trust. Go Sheriff Jack. Oh, yeah, another clown. Where the... That clown got lost from the uh, <laughs> the rest of its pack. It looks like it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I won't make any jokes about the clown being uh, <laughs> running for office or anything. <laughs> I was thinking along those lines, but I was... <laughs> Except we have a little bit of a gap here. I'll mention for those of you watching live, tomorrow night is the last of the car cruisers uh, get-togethers on Main Street here in North St. Paul, and lots of excitement, bands, and food, and it looks like the weather's going to be cooperative, so come on out if you're watching this live. Oh, that's exciting, yes. So we just had uh, True Stone Financial, FS FCU, rather, of Oakdale. It all began with a few teachers and a dream. Back in 1939, eight Minneapolis teachers decided to take control of their own financial security. They formed the Minneapolis Federation of Teachers Credit Union. Over the years, the credit union has endured name changes, added fields of memberships, and expanded across the Midwest. True Stone Financial. Here comes a lively one, the North Hudson Pepper Fest. The next group of Pepperfest royalty were crowned on Sunday, August 19th at the coronation at the Pepperfest event. Representing North Hudson this year are King Kevin Bear, Queen Carly Sim Simons, Simons, and Princesses Emily O'Brien, Kara Fitzgerald, and Joy Rambo. And if we're feeling generous, perhaps we will pepper them with some compliments. <laughs> Best I can come up with. It's good for an old salt like you. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Fletcher for Sheriff. Bob Fletcher is running for Ramsey County Sheriff. He has more than four decades of experience with passion for public safety and service. Bob Fletcher for Sheriff on November 6th. I believe he was a past sheriff too, wasn't he? Yep, and he's I mean, currently the mayor of Badness Heights. Oh, okay. A second here, I might add that uh, if you're enjoying watching this and want more uh, North St. Paul programming, North St. Paul Notes airs on our government channel. It's a monthly show that showcases city staff, business leaders, and local residents. Tune in to local channel 16 every month to find out what's happening in your town. St. Mark's Lutheran Church. Serving North St. Paul for 125 years, bringing Jesus to people and people to him through excellent worship, education, and relationships. With a uh, green uh, convertible full of leprechauns, it looks That's like. Right. <laughs> wow, I've never seen a convertible that color. <laughs> And behind them, we have citizens to elect Paul Yang. 
The system full of people who are struggling. Few judges understand firsthand what that means. Yang came to America as a child refugee, escaping war-torn Laos. He was the first in his family to learn English, which meant he had to stand up for his parents early on, right down to filling out the paperwork they brought home from their jobs. Paul Yang learned early on to help and advocate for people. And that's citizens to elect Paul Yang. Uh, here comes Apollo Heating and Air Conditioning, uh, celebrating 38 years. They're showing their excitement in this year's Fall Roundup Parade. It's, Apollo is proud to serve the community with professional 24-7 service and uh, NATE certified technicians. Visit at uh, callapollo.com or call 651-770-0603 and find out why they were voted number one in Heating and Air. Moments ago, you heard me talking about one of our other programs, North St. Paul Notes. Another great show you can watch on this channel is Sports Path. How about a road trip? Take the Sports Path every other Wednesday at 7 p.m. live with your hosts, John Miller and Sam Erickson. You can catch the latest in Northeast Metro High School sports, highlights, focus points, and banter, all on Sports Path on channel 19 or in HD 801 every other Wednesday at 7 p.m. and they cover the area high school sports, including uh, North High here in North St. Paul. I have to check that out. Tartan and Oakdale, Wiper Lake, Matamidi, all the uh, area schools. If you're interested in that, especially this time of year with all the exciting football on Friday nights. Another Apollo vehicle there. Looks like they've got quite an entourage here. Looks like. <laughs> mentioned we're bringing you this parade from beautiful downtown North St. Paul and um, we're uh, here on 7th Avenue uh, just kind of across the street from Lily newspapers in the post office we'd like to thank you for watching and if you want to uh, catch us from the beginning in case you're just starting now uh, you can go to scctv.org which is our Suburban Community Channel website, and uh, look at our schedule of times when this will air. I'm sure a parade this good will be rebroadcast many times. Maybe we'll get better looking over, <laughs> over time. Well, if we're in high def, you can only imagine <laughs> how, how good we must be looking. <laughs> oh. And I might as well throw in a plug for one more program while we uh, wait for our next entrant here. Uh, Inside Healthcare, host Jody Ritaka brings you this monthly show providing tips and up-to-date info on healthcare issues. Airs every Wednesday and Thursday at 6.30 p.m., all on Channel 19 or in HD on Channel 801. Again, that's Inside Healthcare. Those fall roundup, something that you look forward to every year? Yeah, it brings back memories from uh, when my, my wife had a business next to Newman's for 10 years and uh, used to bring the kids out and watch in front of her shop, uh, her hair salon. Uh, here's the Northern Lights Show Choir. Uh, they're, tonight they're performing for you the fall roundup parade audience. So sing along, clap and dance. Thank you. That's the best part of the show audience participation. So pump it up and celebrate 22 years of <laughs> 22 years of entertainment <laughs> and competitions with North High, North High School's Northern Lights Show Choir. Arlen, they say hello. <laughs> yeah, you got some fans out here. Thank uh, you. Well, production coordinator Arlen Becker is in our production truck right now. They're doing the Adams Family November 1st to 10th. Oh, wow. It's, uh, yeah, it says you can go to northdrama.org to get more information on that. Uh, Adam's Family Musical. I think I would be tailor-made to play Lurch. 
cut the voice. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> doubting they uh, still have openings, but other than the fact that I'm not in high school, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Here we have the uh, St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. The seniors bring wisdom and goodwill to the festivities of the St. Paul Winter Carnival, including King Roger Schwinghammer. <laughs> what a name. Yeah, it's a great last name. I love that. <laughs> Schwinghammer. <laughs> I don't know if it's swing hammer or hammer, but either way, I like it. Queen Christina Karasades, Prime Minister Shirley, Prime Minister Shirley Mulkin, Lady in Waiting Linda Jones, and Princess Judy Holmwist. Here's the. Uh... And here's the royal family from this year, 2018, led by King Boreas, the 82nd, Tom Leonard. Thank you very much. Uh, Aurora, Queen of Snows, Jilla Nadimi, uh, Prime Minister Christine Quant. Once upon a time, a New York reporter quipped in an 1885 newspaper that St. Paul was another Siberia unfit for human habitation. Hi, Daryl. <laughs> Uh, during the winter months. All right, challenge accepted. A collective of Minnesota luminaries, including James J. Hill, set out to prove that reporter wrong and the first St. Paul Winter Carnival was born in 1886. As the longest winter festival in the nation, the carnival's history is an extraordinary blend of lore, legend, and delightfully quirky detail that could only be imagined by the denizens of a some snowy, sometimes freezing paradise called St. Paul. Winter Carnival began in 1886. Oh, there's Klondike. Here we have the uh, Vulcan crew. King Volcanus Rex, the 81st, and his fiery crew defeated Boreas and his four brothers to make sure Minnesota had a nice warm summer. And the men in red supporting events throughout Minnesota are Joe Mees, Count Embryus, Tommy Cherub, Volcanus Rex, 81, Dan Dunleavy, the Duke of Clinker, John Koss, General Flamius, Jim Lipke, the Prince of Suit, Tony Barrett, Grand Duke Fertilius, Matt Doherty, Baron Hot Sparkus, and Bill Emerson, the Count of Ashes. And Klondike Kate herself is on the floor yes. too. So. And uh, here at the end of the parade, we have the North St. Paul Police Squad car. We'll uh, take the time to mention uh, they are uh, it's committed to crime prevention programs. A North St. Paul officer is assigned to North High School daily and also makes regular visits to other schools in North St. Paul. The department participates in MNO, the Torch Run, Neighborhood Watch, Crime Prevention, Youth Diversion Program, and more. Go to the North St. Paul Police Department website for events and opportunities. And I think that's going to probably wrap things up for us. That was the end of the parade. It's amazing how quickly that goes by. It sure by. did go fast this year, my goodness. It went really fast, but um, any any final thoughts? Well, it's always a pleasure working with you, Joe. I yeah, hope I be doing it again next year, unless they decide that uh, we both had too many puns and they want to retire us, but hopefully I'll we'll be to, back next year. I can't help it. I have appendicitis. <laughs> well, maybe I'll be treated before then. But... Uh, Oh, it's, it's been a, another beautiful evening, and hopefully we'll have continue to have weather like this for a while. We, we all know what's coming, but uh, can enjoy the parade for year-round on, on TV now and on YouTube. That's and, right. Yeah, it'll live on forever. We certainly appreciate all of you at home for watching us. And uh, for uh, Jay Humsey, I'm Joe Cullen. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next year for uh, the next year's Fall Roundup Parade in North St. Paul. Thank you.